Hey guys, what is up? My name is Shifty, and today we're not playing Call of Duty. You want to know why? I don't feel like it. But Call of Duty will be back soon. So basically, what I wanted to talk to you guys today about ooh, this is a live com. I'm gonna try and talk to you guys about what I want to see in the next gen versions that hasn't been confirmed from my knowledge for Grand Theft Auto 5. And I'm not talking about heists, and I know it's bullshit. We should have them, I know, I know, but I'm not talking about heists, I'm talking about everything but heists. All the stuff that I've wanted in this game, and some of them might be a little ambitious or ambiguous, and it might not happen, it might not never happen, it might not ever happen. Nice grammar, Aaron. But, um, basically, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about really what I want in my, in my game. How I'm gonna go about it, how I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it. So, the first thing that I've been thinking about is, oh, okay. Why did everybody just leave at the, whatever. That was weird. <laughs> okay, everyone left at the same time. Uh, Alright, well, anyways. What I want the in Grand Theft Auto 5 for PS4 and Xbox One and PC. Alright, the first thing. Now, I know PC is going to have this because it's been in every other Grand Theft Auto, but customizable um, track lists. Like, you know, like, basically in San Andreas and, like, all of the last, ow, all of the last gen, uh, Grand Theft Auto games, you were able to basically take a bunch of, a bunch of the, your songs and put them onto their own radio station. And I'd really like... To, um, like to have that implemented into PC and for the um, for the um, like oh god, <laughs> the console versions. My mind's drawing a blank here. I like um, the ability to connect an iTunes account or something and be able to, you know, like take take your music that's on your iTunes account, purchased or not, in the um, and you know, just do it. And the reason, or like, just do it. Wow import it into your game and the reason why I think this would be beneficial is um some people will actually buy songs like just because they want to play it in Grand Theft Auto and you know it's just it'll it'll be a money making opportunity like it's not just like a it's not just like a fan thing oh Jesus Christ I'm gonna die aren't I? no I didn't die but anyways it would be it would be a um be a money making opportunity for both Apple and Rockstar Games. I don't know, you guys can split the profits 50-50. I don't know how you would do it, but I that's that's what I that's what I want in my Grand Theft Auto game. Um the number nine thing that I'd want is the ability to quick swap attachments and um like how do I explain this? Basically, okay. So I'm gonna get off my bike. So I have this assault rifle, right? Now let's say that I wanted to take off the uh the scope. How would I do that? Well, I can't. So what I was thinking is, in the menu, you can have, like, up in the corner, it says press B to drop ammo, press Y to swap weapons, so on and so forth. There could be one where, like, press X to <clears throat> customize attachments. So I can maybe take off the flashlight if it's daytime, take off, you know, the, the scope or the suppressor if you just don't like it, you know, it's stuff like that. I, I don't have any attachments for this thing, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, just stuff like that, it's just little stuff. Okay, this is, again, this is my personal, personal wants. They might not agree, you guys might not agree with some of them, but this is basically what I want. So let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> um, number, uh, I'm not even gonna number this because I don't know how many I'm gonna do. I might brainstorm some as I go along. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. There's like, it's allergy season. Um, the next one that I'd want is the ability to customize your apartment. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with PlayStation Home, it ended, but back in the day, like, I remember back when it came out, I had one, I believe, in, oh, whoops, <coughs> I, I had, oh, God, I had a, um, I had a PS3 back in, I think, 2008, when PlayStation Home was pretty much brand new. And it was really cool being able to, like, you know, customize your, uh, customize your, like, your, your apartment. And that was just really revolutionary. And since there's not that many apartments of, oh my god, I have the hiccups. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and do this with hiccups. Actually, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Five minutes and 27 seconds in. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, sorry, I had to hold my breath to try and get rid of these hiccups. The ability to customize your apartment would be very vital because there's not that many apartments available, and I know there's gonna, there's definitely going to be more within the next couple months. But <clears throat> the problem with that is, you know, everyone like when like it seems like all of the apartments are the same. Like I know they've, there's been updates and stuff, but why not just have like a whole catalog? We have in this game you have a gigantic, gigantic, made up satirical website or oh god satirical internet that you can use to buy stocks, sell stocks, buy cars, ooh, excuse me, you know, all of that stuff. So why not make, you know, like a furniture website? You could have like a, uh, oh my god, my hiccups are so bad. You can have like a, um, a website that'll basically like, you know, just be like, you want to buy this couch for yada yada yada. And then you could click on it, and it'll be sent to like a, oh god, a virtual storage in your house. And uh, you know you can use like a drop, like kind of like a sim sort of. Oh, I'm sorry for all these hiccups, but a sim style, uh, I guess interface where you can basically do whatever you want with the with you know your your apartment. And you know you can buy stuff, you can buy decorations. <sighs> and you can basically, you know, just customize the hell out of it. I'm gonna take another break really quick. Seven minutes, thirteen seconds. Pop nine ten. Okay. The reason I'm doing that, by the way, guys, is because I keep pausing it. I was trying to get rid of my hiccups, and for the moment, it seems like they're gone. I had a, I had a piece of chocolate, and uh, you know, I drank some water. I don't know. I, I, chocolate wasn't really necessary. I just kind of wanted a piece. So, anyways. After the customizable, um, customizable apartments and such, I want the ability to sell your already, like, custom cars, you know what I mean? Like, why, why should, like, okay, let's say you need money. Why should you have to get rid of your car just for it never to be seen again? Why not put it up on a website, like a Craigslist sort of thing, where you could basically sell and buy whatever you'd want, and, uh... You know, you wouldn't have to see it go to waste just because, you know, you ha you need, like, that extra 50 grand and you want to sell one of your muscle cars that you put, you know, $750,000 worth of stuff into. I know that's not really logical because I don't think you could do that. But hypothetically, why should you have to get rid of it completely? Why can't you just uh, sell it to someone else? Or why can't you just buy a cheaper car off of it for someone else? And you can, like, have, like, price ranges do everything now obviously there's one downside to this and that is that people will try to sell <clears throat> you know their cars for their their smart car whatever the smart car is called in this game for like five million dollars but you know obviously no one's gonna buy that so it's kind of like adding into the game's own uh, supply and demand economy so that would be really cool since it's a capitalistic world that we're living in metaphorically in Los Santos why not make it more capitalistic by doing that? What else would I want? I want crew hideouts, crew turfs, and all that such stuff. If that makes sense. Like, let's say, let's say you take over a certain part of the map in a in an online game. What can happen is other other crew members can you know overtake that and then try and take it over and take it. And if you fight them back, you win. Kind of like how in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you did gang wars. Except online and with actual people. That's the best way that I can describe it. Because that would be really cool for them to do. And it just, it would just be super fun. What am I doing? I need to like spice up this gameplay. I've just been driving around my ATV. Let's do some people. Alright. But yeah, just stuff like that. Uh, you know. Because that would that would be really cool if they added in stuff like that, um, like you know, turf thing. I had like a whole booklet full of these, and I wrote it down like last year. And I wa I wanted to make a video on them, but I can't, and now I can't remember half of them. So I went over customizable cars, quick switching off the weapon attachments. Oh, I didn't say customizable cars. Customizable cars, obviously. 
Ooh, there, here's one. Okay. So since Rockstar also made Midnight Club, and Midnight Club Los Angeles has a great, 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 um, like, custom car customization options, I'd say implement that into the game. Like, be able to make, like, vinyls. Be able to make, like, street racing cars. Like, Fast and Furious style cars. Because that would just make, you know, the characters more customizable and stuff. And I don't know. It would just be, it would just be really cool to like see like how creative people can be. You know, they can they can um, take vine, vinyls from uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles that they've made and or seen, and they can change it and put it into this game or maybe something along those lines. I don't think that's gonna work personally, but something something similar to that would be really cool to see. Get out of my way, Copper. And uh, yeah, so. That that's uh that's pretty much what I'm talking about when I say what I want to see in the new Grand Theft Autos and all that stuff. I had so many more things. Oh yeah, here's another one. Okay, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna have to be one of my last ones. The ability to like buy, to like make and sell drugs. Now let me tell you why this would work. Because in in the career mode you have Trevor and Trevor makes and Trevor runs a business that you really never get to get into and since this game takes place before Trevor you know gets rid of all the competition in the area in the game which happens in the first mission you're, you have him by the way he takes out you know like the boss the boss of the Farios Los Aztecas or whatever they are I think that was San Andreas but you know he takes out their boss and basically you know just takes over his entire map well anyways what he didn't, what he, what could happen, oh god, which tire did he pop? Oh, that one, okay. What could happen is, basically, Trevor has more competition. And by that, I mean, you, there, you can, you know, you can sell drugs, you can produce drugs, you can do all this stuff. Why not? I mean, I mean, GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto is already this controversial. Who cares, you know? Why not at this point? Might as well just go all out. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I'm gonna jump off of this bridge because if I never mind. <laughs> but yeah, just just go all out now because why not? I mean, you don't have to like go step by step on how to like make the drugs and stuff, but definitely sell them, sell them on like a black market sort of thing. You could buy weapons on the black market and uh, you know have user created content. And by that, I mean like I don't know. Uh, that could be anything. You know, buy and sell stuff, buy and sell drugs, because that's another way you can make money since there's no hoist yet. And, you know, just, just stuff like that. So, that's pretty much all I have time for, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to go. My name is Shifty. That was my two cents on Grand Theft Auto for the new, for the new uh, era of consoles. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.